In this section, I'm going to give you an example of creating an ashtray using the tools that we have learned so far. So this is, uh, you know, complex in the first site, but it is not that much. So I'm going to show you that how you can use the existing tools that you know already to create this. First of all, I need to create the base. And for this, uh, watch what I'm doing. I go to YZ plane, I go to sketch environment, and now I go to create the spline here using the spline tool. I want to make sure that this is starting from the center line. I click here and double click here to end this. So I double click here, you can see that this is coincidence with the horizontal line. Now I need to add some more constraints here. Of course, I can add some profile and uh, complete this, but I'm going to do this after adding this constraint. First constraint is this. This point is going to be about 50 millimeters away from the center line. So I type in 50 here. And again, the constraint tool is selected. This point is going to be about 10 millimeters from the horizontal line. So I make sure that it's about 10 millimeters. So this is it. And I can grip this point and move it so that this is the perfect curve that I needed. Now I go and select profile tool to complete this profile. I click here and go to center line and go up to this point. You can see the full circle that tells me I'm on a point. I double click here to finish this profile. Now I exit my workbench. I have this profile and I can use this for shaft. I can go and select the shaft tool from the insert menu sketch base feature or from the tool set that is available here. This is 360 degree. The axis is going to be the vertical axis. And now you can see that I have created this shaft and that's perfect for my purpose. Now I'm going to cut some part of this. So I go to YZ plane to sketch environment. Now that I'm in this environment, I want to draw a part of, you know, arc to create here. So First of all, I need to zoom in a little bit and pan down. I uh, select the arc tool here and start here. For example, this is going to be the radius of arc. And of course, I can create the radius of arc and select this by selecting, uh, you know, the radius of this semi-sphere part. So I go here and make sure that this is about this much, for example, 50 millimeters, I guess. And this is going to be the first point here. And now it is going to be about this much. Now I'm going to add some constraint to this and this is going to be about 50 millimeters of radius. So I type in 15 here. About 50 millimeters of radius. And that's it. Of course, it is going to be a little higher so it should be from the baseline. So I select this and select this. Now you can see this is about 50 millimeters. I want to make sure that about uh, 55 millimeters of distance is there. So I type in 55 and that's it. And I want to have an axis here. So first of all, I need to create an axis like this. For example, the line is going to be selected. First of all, let's go further a little bit and select the line tool. I want to select this and go up. And of course I need to zoom out a little bit. Now I click here. I need to quick trim. I select quick trim tool and delete this part. Select quick trim tool and delete this part. And that's it. This is the sketch that is going to use to, you know, cut through the uh, base part. So I exit my workbench and select groove. This is the profile that is selected and this is going to be the axis and I can see that it cuts through the shape very nicely. Now, uh, I know that I have selected an arc for this and of course I can select the same arc uh, to create the sphere that I need to. So I go again to XY uh, plane, uh, to YZ plane Excel, of course, I go to sketch environment and I'm going to select this sketch that I have used for group like this and create the project 3D. And you can see that project 3D will copy the same sketch in my uh, sketch 5 environment. Now I'm going to use this 
and create the so I exit my workbench first uh, use chef tool to create the sphere here so this is going to be 360 degrees and this is the sketch that is selected and this is going to be the axis so first of all I need to select an axis the you know Z axis is nice you can see this is the sphere that I need to have now I'm going to cut some of this sphere 